Aloha friends, are you a carnivore but you love lasagna? Well, I've got you covered. I wrote this recipe many years ago and it's a fan favorite. It's featured in my ebook and on my website keto-adapted.com which will have the link below. Um, but before I get started, my name is Maria Emmerich. I am a nutritionist who specializes in the ketogenic diet and I've been helping clients for over 20 years. And yesterday, I got to meet Twyla, who I've been working with, with for many years. She lost 270 pounds. Check out her picture. Um, she's off all medications and she was featured on Women's World magazine on the cover in 2020 and she still kept off all the weights. Sorry, I'm just so excited about it because it was really cool meeting her here in Maui. She came on vacation. She's staying at our other, our other condo in Kihei, ketocondo.com. Um, but anyway, I love lasagna. I always had lasagna on my birthday as a little girl. And so this is a very special occasion recipe. You're going to love it. Come check it out. So to start, I'm going to brown some beef. Um, and it's really not that exciting, but I am going to do a twist. I was thinking about this last night. I'm not just going to use regular salt, um, which I use in the original recipe to make it 100% carnivore. Um, I thought, oh, smoked salt. I could use, why is this? Here, I got the wrong one on. I could use smoked salt to make it like a smoky, barbecued, cheesy goodness, but I love truffles and so I am actually using this truffle salt. I've purchased many different salts over the year, truffle salts over the years. This one's my favorite one. It's on Amazon for a couple bucks. Really, really good. But if you're a carnivore that does not want to have any truffles, I think like mushrooms and truffles are like in that gray area because they breathe oxygen. So. Anyway, we're gonna just brown the beef up and season it with some truffle salt. So now that it's cooked through, I'm going to just tilt the pan and try to get some of that grease out of there. I know, I know, the fat is, everybody goes wild for all the fat, but I like to focus more on protein, especially for the clients that I work with that are in it for weight loss. And focusing on protein is going to help with so, protein's a building blocks of everything. So it's hard to get enough protein if you're doing loads and loads and loads of fat. But so I'm just gonna sop that up. There we go. And I have the truffle salt. Now, again, you could use Redmond smoke salt, which is really delicious. Do like a smoky barbecue-y type thing. Ooh, barbecue chicken, ground chicken. Ooh, I have another idea for a recipe. <laughs> but I'm gonna use the truffle salt and just season that up. And you can always add more, you can never take away. So start with less. And I added a little bit before I started the video. So that's a big tip I have is you can always add more, whatever you're doing, your sweetener, your salt, you can't ever really take away, but you can always add more. It's a huge tip. So, ta-da, we have our meat and let's get going with the assembly. Okay, so the sauce for the carnivore lasagna, it's really simple, but it's really, really delicious. And I'm gonna do a double bash because I love it so much. And what you're gonna start with is salted butter. Uh, salted butter browns much better um, than unsalted butter. So if you have unsalted butter, just add some salt to it. And I'm gonna turn this up to a high heat. And we're gonna make brown butter. Now, if you've never made brown butter, it's magic. <laughs> it tastes so good on everything, on a steak, on shrimp. Um, and it makes really good cheese sauce. Oh my gosh. And it's only three ingredients, the sauce. It's, excuse me. Um, it is butter. We have sharp cheddar over here. And we have carnivore beef broth over here. So those are the ingredients you need. And if you watch this, as the butter melts, it's going to froth up 
and you'll find brown flecks. Now stay close, don't walk away from this. Um, have a whisk handy. If you don't have a whisk, you could use a large spoon or something, but um, I love my whisk. It's one of my favorite kitchen tools. Um, but I can uh, basically hear when the butter starts to brown, it will sizzle, it's very fun. Um, I have some other recipes using brown butter. I'm just trying to th think of them now. My mind's going blank. Um, but I made this carnivore lasagna on the TV show uh, Reversed, the carnivore show, and everybody went wild. They're like, don't make extra, like the people that were working with the producer, they're like, don't make extra. I'm like, why not make extra? It's like the best leftovers ever. And uh, Ken Berry, he wasn't there that first night. <laughs> and I wanted to save some for him, but it disappeared. He didn't get any. Because um, he likes my other lasagna, I know. But, so here we go. It's starting to froth up. This takes maybe five minutes. You can hear that. Yeah, and if you like this, make a double batch. It's like a brown butter cheese fondue. So There's also something called black butter if you burn it, <laughs> but it doesn't taste good. But the black butter is a French delicacy. I just don't think it's very good. Okay, so it's about to brown. I can hear it. It's going to get quiet. Yep, hear that? Now it got quiet. And it's frothing up. Isn't that cool? Food is so cool. And you just want to keep on whisking it, otherwise it will burn. And I'm going to turn that down a little bit. I like to really push it so it's kind of a darker brown. But if you're new to browning it, maybe just be on the safer side. So, see that? Really nice brown color. And then I'm going to add cheese, um, the sharp cheddar. I want, for since I'm doing a double batch, I want two cups. I'll have the full measurements um, in the, the link below. So, let's see. You like how I measure? <laughs> That's about two cups. We'll maybe add a little more, make it extra cheesy. There we go. And then we also want to add a cup of, since we're doing a double batch, a cup of beef broth. And then I'm going to use a stick blender to puree it up till it's very smooth. I often put it into my regular blender, but maybe we shouldn't do that with hot butter and burn ourselves, right? So I have my new stick blender, which I really like. One of my favorite investments, it's a Vitamix one. No, they did not pay me for it, to promote it. Now, I can tell right away I want it thicker, so I'm gonna add some of that. There you go, this is the brown butter sauce that is going to go into the carnivore lasagna. Okay, assembly. Now this is so good, I do recommend doing a triple batch, but if all you have is one pan, that's all you need. Um, we have our homemade deli meat, just made with chicken breast and salt. There's nothing else in there. Um, if you haven't checked out that video, I'll have it in the link below, super delicious. We have the brown butter cheese sauce that I chilled overnight. Now be careful with pre-shredded cheese. It always has anti-caking agents like potato starch or maltodextrin. Cheese slices, however, don't. So this is why I love the cheese slices, make it nice and easy. We have Daisy Cottage Cheese, which is delicious and doesn't have any um, carrageenan or fillers. And then with Parmesan already shredded, this one is just cheese. So I'm not worried about that. 
and we have our ground meat. So however you make your lasagna, I'm gonna actually start with the ground beef in a layer. I'm gonna set this aside here. I don't know, everybody makes their lasagna in a different fashion, I suppose, which is fine. I'm gonna start with that, and then I'm gonna to get to the cheese sauce over the top of that. And I made this on the TV show that I did, the carnivore TV show in uh, Costa Rica, and everybody just went wild for it. And it was funny because the, and this can mix together, it's just like your ground beef sauce. Um, everybody went wild for it, but the person helping out was like, don't make that much. I was like, well, why not? It's a great leftover. And they just never wanted leftovers. Don't ask me why. Um, but they didn't, um, it was fine, but it was, I wish we would have had leftovers because I'd have eaten that every day. I think leftover lasagna is the best. So layer of that. And then we are going to do, let's do the deli meat layer of that. There we go. And again, deli meat with truffles. That sounds like the best deli meat I've ever had. Doesn't it, Craig? <laughs> I think I have to get another batch going. I don't even like chicken, but I like this deli meat. I guess it's because I liked anything smoked. I think the deli meat smoked was really good. So, and I just had this in the freezer. It does freeze well. So that was gone for a little while. So now we're gonna do a layer of cottage cheese. Another container. And then we'll do a layer of mozzarella. Get a little more in here. Mozzarella. And then parm. Yeah, so aren't the cheese slices? super easy and nice to use. I'm gonna break a piece here. The middle, there. Well, oh, Bella smells the deli meat, I think. <laughs> she really likes it. Bella's our little puppy. You see her in the deli meat video, begging for it. And now parm. There we go. And then we're gonna repeat the layer. So the beef, the truffly beef smells so good. I wonder if Kai will like it. I actually hope he does. And so there's more for us, Craig and I. Yeah, I had an idea like with ground chicken, the barbecue or the smoked salt and do it, you know, the same maybe with cheddar uh, slices, I don't know, something like that. Um, okay, now our cheese sauce. Probably should have warmed it up, it would have spread easier, but that's okay. There we go. And seriously, if you guys try this, you should share this video. Even if you don't try it, share this video with your friends to just show them how delicious the carnivore diet can be. Because everybody, when I wrote the carnivore cookbooks, people, because I have three of them, and they're like, isn't it just meat and salt? I'm like, no way, my friends. It can be super delicious. And I think the thing is, is the diet only works if it's sustainable to you. And sometimes you just want something different, right? And that's why I love this recipe. Now we'll do some cottage cheese. I don't even know what I'm doing, but <laughs> maybe I should do the deli meat. I don't know. We'll just do this. It's all good. It all works. Lasagna just means layer, layering. Yeah, I think I did the deli meat, but 
trying to think of how this finishes, so that's all good. There we go. And yeah, this is definitely not something you want to eat every day, but it's definitely a great birthday treat. Yeah, I remember when I was little, uh, my mom would always make our favorite meal, and my meal was always lasagna. And then after lasagna, we would go outside and we would all play volleyball together. It was really fun. That was when I was a teenager. Seems like yesterday in many ways. And this lasagna seriously only took minutes to make. I guess the hardest part was making the brown butter cheese sauce. Oh, Bella, you're begging for it, aren't you? Maybe we'll have to show everybody how cute you are. Okay, so the cheese slices. There we go. And I'm going to Italy in uh, May and June, and you should come with. Uh, we're doing this really great uh, retreat. Um, someone asked me to be like the guest host. And so we'll make delicious things like this. I teach you things. Uh, we even made homemade ricotta and mozzarella cheese. It was on a lot in this farm along the coast of Sorrento. Like it was unreal. I had to pinch myself. And if you want to come, I'll have the link below. We have a trip to Croatia, South Africa, lots of different places. So this is our lasagna and it's going to go into the oven for about 45 minutes. Really the cheese just has to meld together, but we'll catch you back in a little bit. Check it out. This is after about 40 minutes and it is smelling delicious. You got to try this. It's so good. Okay, so I placed it in the fridge for a few hours because you know, the, they don't, you don't have the noodles to soak up all the liquid. So it's going to be really soupy right out of the oven. But if you let it set up a little bit before you slice it, it's going to be perfect. So check it out. This is just ooey and gooey and delicious. I'm excited for Kai to try it. I'm sure he's going to like it. He calls it square lasagna. And this makes delicious leftovers. So if you have everything out, I highly suggest to make a triple batch <laughs> and that you can just put it in the freezer and then bake it as needed. Look at that. Perfect. Aloha Kai. Hi. What did you say? The third time's a charm? Third time's a charm. Third time. Well, I dropped my phone and so it's broken. So we're using Christ's phone now. So Kai, you get to try it again. Ooh. Show everybody what you think. Leftover lasagna is the best. Yeah. That's so good. So good. Can you taste the truffle in there? Yeah. You like it? Mm-hmm. Awesome. So what do you want to tell people? Cook with your kids. Cook Some with your kids. Some juice just went into my eyes. Some juice went into your eyes. Are you okay? We're good, yeah. We're good. Um, and please share this video with your friends, right? Yes. To show them how delicious healthy eating can be. And we could really use your help. We've been doing a lot of work on YouTube and yeah. we haven't been growing very much, Kai. So we need everybody's help. And the recipes are delicious, right? Yes, they're delicious. They're delicious. <laughs> You're awesome, everybody. Have a great day. Mahalo. Mahalo. Okay, so here's Bella, and she loves her deli meat. Come here, Bella. Bella. Look how cute she is, Bella. This bee. She's the lover. She's cuter with longer hair, but. She gets so hot here in Hawaii, so we keep it short. Bella! Can you say hi to the camera? Bella! Nope. <laughs> You're getting every last piece. Bella. Hey! If you want to change your life, like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux. I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I had depression. I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. And food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. So if you wanna eat good food, 
I have perfected meal plans made by me and personal help with supplements or modifications if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video or you can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo.